you doing fine cause you can't breathe I don't wanna break your little bubble but you gotta wait Hi everyone, it's Jess here and I'm here to talk to you all about expat living in Hong Kong. So I'm terribly sorry about my voice guys. I just got COVID uh, about four days ago after returning home from Guangzhou. So one of the perks of living in Hong Kong is that the mainland is in very very close proximity and you're able to travel to mainland China for like a long weekend. So for the Easter weekend, I went to Kunming and also to Lijiang which is in the Yunnan province which is in the southwest part of mainland China and then last week I went to Guangzhou so I took the high-speed rail from the Hong Kong West Kowloon station which is in Austin and the train ride to the Yunnan province so my first stop was in Kunming was uh, just under nine hours but to go to Guangzhou is extremely fast. It is around one hour or so depending on how many stops the train makes. So I highly, highly, highly recommend arriving at the train station at least one hour before your train departs. And that is because there are so many steps and processes that you have to go through before you can board that train. It's nothing like Europe where you can just arrive on the platform and then, you know, go to a different country. Going to mainland China from Hong Kong, you have to exit immigration, enter immigration, and there are some special measures like right now you have to do a health declaration in between uh, in order to board the train. There are also uh, multiple points where you have to get your bags checked which can take extra time. Also, just to let you know, I am traveling to mainland China as a Canadian with a Canadian passport and a Chinese visa in my passport. I do not have a home return permit and the issue with traveling with the passport is that the passport passport doesn't ever ever scan with the machines in any of the train stations in China so you have to make sure that you spend extra time going through the manual lane to have your passport checked which is such a downer and right now if you have stayed overseas within the seven days before entering mainland China you do have to provide a negative nucleic acid test before you can enter the border but I didn't so I was able to go without any COVID measures However, please stay most up to date by checking the website and the government website and take everything that I say here with a grain of salt. I'm just here to tell you about my experience. So when you first enter the West Kowloon Station, you need to go through an area to enter the area. <coughs> In order to enter the station lobby, you need to show the ID that you used for booking. This is for them to check that you have the train that's scheduled for today. Now, remember I said that I have a passport, so I can't go through the automatic gates. I have to go to get my passport checked manually, which takes more time than if you were able to go through the gates by scanning in your mainland travel permit. So after you enter through the gates, you're directed to get your luggage checked, like you know, in the airport security so that takes about five to ten minutes then you have to fill in your health declaration form on your mobile phone now I had troubles scanning the QR code that they have on the board so I scanned it using my WeChat so make sure you download WeChat because you can scan it using your WeChat and I filled in my information through WeChat so the form will ask for things like your personal information I'll ask for your train number your scene number your Chinese visa so be sure to have all that ready because you're you know you're in the flow and you're trying to fill in your form at the same time there is someone to help you but it's, it's not really that difficult the form will also ask if you have been outside of Hong Kong for the past seven days so in which you have you may have to proceed to provide your PCR test to the officials so after you've done the form the system will generate a QR code which you will need to scan later so now you've done that you have to exit through Hong Kong Kong immigration so if you have a Hong Kong ID this is super fast it's as per usual like at the airport uh, if you have a passport then you'll have to get it manually checked this is where you finally scan the QR code that you generated earlier on these computers so finally you enter through the mainland China immigration and this is the part that takes the longest I have to go through the foreigner channel because I have a Canadian passport with a Chinese visa and uh, it took about like 30 minutes so and also I don't know why but the gates you have to like zigzag 
zigzag around like 10 times, even if there's nobody there. Like when I went there during Easter, it's kind of almost late, so I had to run through the zigzag like a crazy person. But the second time I went to Guangzhou, I had to wait a very, very long time to get my passport checked and stamped. You also have to fill in an arrival card, so make sure you bring a pen because there is never and never ever ever any pens available there. So always bring a pen when you're going through China immigration. Okay, so after you're done immigration, you still have to go through this lineup where you put your luggage in this x-ray machine. And depending on how many people there are and how many people decide to budge in front of you, it could take an additional 10 to 15 minutes, which you are already sweating because you are, your train is like gonna be departing in like 20 minutes. So finally, you are in the area where all the boarding gates are. So there's like 6A, 6B, 67A, 7B. So make sure you fall on your ticket and also the board on which gate to go into to get your tickets checked or your IDs checked. Again, I have a passport and it does not go through the machine. So I have to spend extra time to line up to the manual line to get my passport checked manually. So finally, you are on the platform. You have arrived and you can sit down and relax. So that's the whole process. Now you can see why I would recommend being there at least an hour early. If you're interested in how my journey to Kunming went, keep on watching and I will show you what it's like. So today I'm heading to Kunming, which is about a nine hour train ride from Hong Kong. I am departing from the Hong Kong West Kowloon Station and it is so hectic because everyone is deciding to go travel. You can see that you have to like go through all these like barricades to get my visa looked at. I was so afraid that I would miss this train but I have made it. So yeah, I think we're about to depart and it's going to be about a nine hour ride and we'll see you there. So now I'm in uh, coach number eight. Yeah. And this is where the food is. So I'm starving because I was rushing so much to get on a train. I didn't have time to get anything. So the food looks pretty good. You see there's like, I don't know, some hometown noodles. It looks pretty good actually. There's a wide variety of selections. So even though there's a lot of variety, I think they only had a few selections. So I got the, I don't know how to translate it in English, but it's like a braised pork with sauce and some rice. It looks pretty good. There's some vegetables, and there's your pork that's braised. Yeah. See some eggs, and it's an omelet. I think it's an omelet. And then I think underneath. So that's it for my video today. I hope you like it. If you do, please click like and subscribe for more on expat living in Hong Kong. Bye guys!